Hello guys and welcome in this tutorial where I will show you how to change hands in VR VR hands that you have in Unreal Engine. I'm pretty sure that you know what I'm talking about and I have to warn you it's very tedious and very boring process but I think that I can show you a few tricks to make it a bit more effective. So let's start by going in content virtual reality BP in Unreal Engine. I'm using basic template and let's open virtual reality virtual reality mannequin and there should be character mesh and there you will see that hand which you are using in, by default so what you will do is to right click on it and export it to some folder and it should be in asset action export right here and we will be using blender to put there a new mesh uh, so you can see that i have already exported it let's do it one more time just to be sure export everything is fine okay and in blender i have prepared this mesh oh actually i didn't prepare it i stole it from somewhere but that's not important it's from the internet no one really knows that don't tell anyone <laughs> okay so what we need we what we will need to do is to go to file import it and import that file that i have exported right before mannequin hand and you can see it right here so let's hide this hand, this new one. And first of all, what you will do is to click left here on object and set it to weight painting. What we will do is to repaint all this into our new mesh. So, uh, so all animations will still work and you can use them. You can see that each part is painted separately and nothing is painted here in this part because that never moves. So what you can do right now is to click on object and right click in this mannequin hand right one more time and delete this mannequin hand right and the only thing that will stay here is are these bones uh, there is of course one more option that you will create your own armature and your own set of bones but that you wouldn't be able to use any animations that are, i believe that this is fastest way to do it so now what you can do is to make this mesh visible and you can see that it's not exactly how I would like to, it to be. So make sure that you have selected this hand. Uh, click left here and put it into edit mode. And what you will do is to take all these hands and make sure that you have distance between them pretty much the same as it is in original and try to position them pretty much on the location of these fingers. All right, that should work. And one more thing I forgot to tell you is to press the like button because that's something that will help me. Anyway, let's get back to this. And now what we will do is to click on object mode. First of all, let's disable this see-through mode. Click on the hand mesh and then click on those bones. Then on keyboard, select control P and use pa uh, paint it with automatic weight. And now if you switch it, to, okay, if you select armature and switch it to pose mode, you can see that it sort of does what you want it to do. But uh, that, painting, uh, that painting, of course, still needs a lot of work. For example, this part is deforming, etc, etc. So what right now what you can do is to click on object and set it to weight paint. And now on the right, you can see there is an uh, option of, I forget how it is called, this one, it's uh, option, it's object data properties, and it has this weird green, hopefully you can see it, yeah, you can see it, this green thing. And now what you have to do is to go bone by bone and paint it pretty much the same as it was painted in that first hand. Of course, right, right now I'm not going to waste your time by doing it perfectly, but if you want to have it nice looking, you will have to do it with your hand mesh. All right, now it's hopefully done. Well, it's definitely not well done, but it's done. So what you can do is to click on that hand and to just quickly test it by uh, click on hand which by hand i mean armature of course quickly test it with pose mode to see how it sort of works and you can see that there is already some problem if i move it it will be needed to repaint it this as well there's a lot of problems as you can see 
As I said, this is tedious and very boring process, so you will just have to get through it. Sorry about that. I'm not going to try fix everything, there is still a lot of to be fixed, but uh, let's not do it, so I don't waste your time and mine, because I wanna do something else, <laughs> and let's uh, try to export it, fbx, and to whatever file you want, export fbx, and then what you will do is to go back to Unreal Engine, make sure that you know where it is exported, and then just take it and put it on same folder, it doesn't really matter, just make sure that you will use same skeleton as before, and also use T0 as pose, it's probably disabled in your case, just click on here, and make sure it's set to true and import all. It's possible that it will show you some errors. Uh, you probably don't need to worry about that that much. Uh, there is some problems if material doesn't really matter. Let's just delete it so it doesn't need to compile it. And what we can do is to go to more virtual reality BP motion controller, BP motion controller, and if we go to viewport and change that mesh. Click on it and skeletal mesh sent that to that new mesh. And you can see it already, you can see how messed up that painting is. But what you can do is to use animation asset, switch it and try different animations how it works. Yeah, you can see that that paint is already not well done and you will need to fix and if I wanted to use this I would need to fix it which I'm not going to do right now, of course, but other than that, it should be fine, other than this. <laughs> um, I hope that this was helpful for you in some way, that's about everything for this video, so fancy, out!